Okay, Scott from the. I forgot where you're coming from. You come from St. Louis? The American Ghost Project or something like that? Well, like I said before, this is the Dibba Box. This is the Hunter Doll. And does that sound like bricks in there? No, it don't. That does not sound like bricks. He thought I was selling them bricks. <laughs> I told them, go check out my YouTube channel that I did last year, back in February. Should be probably all the way in the bottom of my YouTube channel. And you see all the orbs that are flying around. And the one room where I had the dipper boxes at, I saw the black shadow in my video. You should be able to see the black shadow in that video. But since I put them in here with the haunted doll, it's been all good but I mean something about Lucifer and something else I do not know what it is but hey I just put them in here because I got sick and tired of the nonsense of the poltergeist frying pans flying off of my stove the cups flying out of my dish drainer I just man but since I put all three in here I was happy as hell because the <laughs> paranormal has really calmed down a lot. And what gets me that the apartment building that I moved into back in last year October, because I used to, live, used to live in Irving, New York, found out the history about this building, the suicides, the murders, the paranormal is just like wow. So I'm trying to get permission from the owners and the manager that if I could do a paranormal investigating, I'm just waiting back from them to let me know because it's just like, wow, the things I see, things I hear, <laughs> very, very real. So, Scott, can't wait to see you on Tuesday. All right? But, like I said, 296 people last year told me that they're going to come and buy it from me, and they never do. So, this is my face. This is me. I don't need to hide. No, I don't. I don't need to lie. No, I don't. Hope to see you guys. Live a little, live a lot, live life to the fullest. Later.